plane, captured in the Aleutians, has been repaired and is ready for inspection and trial by U.S. naval aviators. The Jap plane has many innovations, but has little protection for its pilot, except its maneuverability. But that's something. Fabricated houses is one answer to the problem of housing for the war industry worker and his family. At the Libby Owens Ford glass plant, they're turning them out by mass production. One, two, and three bedroom houses that can be set up in 80 minutes. By truckloads of two or three houses each, they're being rushed where needed. Entire cities of these prefabricated houses are going up to make our war workers comfortable and happy. Be the real thing, but Camden and its neighboring suburbs are merely practicing, thank heavens. Under the direction of the Coast Guard, with fire department and air raid wardens assisting, the idea is to evacuate 4,000 persons. Trucks, buses, and what have you are cooperating with ferry boats and other craft in getting the folks away safely and in the least possible time. To make things a little more realistic, some stretcher cases are included. This mass evacuation, the first of its kind, is another example of how important the Coast Guard is to national defense. Best new oil reserves for the United Nations are being developed from oil-bearing sands of Alberta, Canada. So rich in oil are these sands that billions of barrels of high-grade oil are expected to be taken out during the coming years. It's one of the answers to the Allies' war need for more and more oil and gasoline. Dynamite loosens tons of the rich sand, which is carted to a pilot refinery. By a newly developed method combined with open pit mining, the oil is separated from the sand by a flotation process in which hot water is used. Not only does this result in oil that can be refined into high-octane aviation gas, but also into lubricating oils and asphalt for road building. Also, the remaining sand is the finest glass sand known to science. And there's enough sand and oil here to last for the next hundred years.